here we have some word problems that involve distance uh, and the f typical formula sometimes called the dirt formula is distance equals rate times time d equals rt so that's gonna uh, play a part in this let's take a look at this first one it says Gilbert and Kathy drove a total of 425 miles in 6.8 hours Gilbert drove the first part of the trip and averaged 55 miles per hour. Kathy drove the remainder of the trip and averaged 65 miles per hour. For what length of time did Gilbert drive? So, we're going to actually have two different distance equals rate times time uh, formulas for this one, equations. We're going to have a system of equations that we need to solve. The tricky part is teasing out what those two equations should be. One thing we have is, is the total distance. So let's try to set up a distance equals rate times time equation for that. The distance would be 425 miles and since part of the time Kathy drove and part of the time Gilbert drove we're going to uh, separate those into two parts and add them together. So the rate and time of Gilbert and the rate plus the rate and the time of Kathy. So when Gilbert drove he drove at a rate of well, it tells us 55 miles per hour so 55 and we're going to multiply that by let's call g gilbert's time that he spent driving and that's good because we want to find the length of time gilbert drove so we're going to end up solving for g now we add to that kathy's rate and kathy's time her rate is 65 miles per hour and we'll call k the amount of time she drove so that's for the total trip so that's one equation with two variables we need to figure out a way to get another um, another uh, equation here. Well we have one other fact. Their total time was 6.8 hours and our variables are the time that Gilbert drove and the time that Kathy drove. So you could say that Kathy drove for 6.8 minus the time that Gilbert drove. Once we've got that, we've got two equations, two variables, we're ready to solve. So let's go ahead and do this with substitution. I think that makes the most sense. We'll put this in for k up here. So we would get 425 equals 55 Gilbert plus 65 times 6.8 minus Gilbert. Now we've got it down to one variable, and it's actually g, which is what we're looking for. So that's very handy. And let's see, we'll do some math here. So 425... 55g and then 65 times 6.8 is 442 minus 65g and we will combine the like terms we're going to get negative 10g over here um, we can subtract 442 from both sides and that comes out to negative 17 equals negative 10g divided by negative 10 and you would get the time Gilbert drove equals 1.7, and we're in hours here. And that's all there is to that one. All right, let's try another one. This is a type of problem that can uh, be pretty tricky. It's the uh, famous boat going upstream and then going downstream, or vice versa. And there's a current in the water, and the trick is to find out the speed of that current. It says a motorboat can go 8 miles downstream on a river in 20 minutes. It takes 30 minutes for this boat to go back upstream the same 8 miles. Find the speed of the current. So the way to think about this is with our same dirt formula, distance equals rate times time. The distance in both cases is going to be the same. In the first one, when they went downstream, the rate was, well you can think about it this way. The rate is this when they're going downstream with the current, the rate equals the um, speed of the boat, the rate of the boat, plus the added rate of the current. So we'll call that R sub B and R sub C. So, and it took 20 minutes. So the time here is 20 minutes. <clears throat> and they went 8 miles, okay? So the distance was 8. That's our rate, kind of complicated, but there it is. Now, on back upstream, it still was 8 miles miles right and this time they had the rate of the boat minus the rate of the current because they're working against it and it took them 30 minutes the only trick here the only difficulty I see right now is that we're probably going to be wanting to find the rate 
in miles per hour. And here we've got minutes. So I probably want to convert these to fractions of an hour. 20 minutes is one third of an hour, and 30 minutes is one half of an hour. So let's just put that in hours instead of minutes. Okay, so we can, um, actually what I'd like to do is multiply this top equation by 3 to get rid of that fraction. So we would get 24 equals r sub b plus r sub c. And this one I'll multiply both sides by 2, so I get 16 equals r sub b minus r sub c. And then uh, this looks like a pretty good um, uh, place to do elimination. We want to find the rate of the current, though. So I think what I'll do is multiply this one by negative 1, and then we'll be eliminating the rate of the boat. So if we do that, we've got 8 equals 2 times the rate of the current. Divide by 2, and you get 4 for the rate of the current. And that's all there is to that one. So that's a little bit of work with uh, rate and distance problems.